They are the captors who are now the captives. Newly released pictures of the two British ISIS militants now being held by Syrian Kurdish forces. And this was just one of their victims, the American journalist Jim Foley, tortured and beheaded, an execution filmed by his kidnappers. Jim's childhood friend took that. Um, his mother now campaigns for the protection of journalists. She gave me her reaction to the capture of the British jihadis. I was relieved, Mark, because I was starting to wonder if, if anyone could be held accountable, anybody. But we're very hopeful that they will soon be elsewhere and um, brought to trial. That's my hope. And you say brought to trial. Where would you like them to be brought to trial and what sort of trial would you prefer? Well, I would prefer a, fred a federal criminal court, be that in the UK or the US or the Hague, just some country that would be capable to do a public fair trial, you know. Bring would you go to that trial? Oh, absolutely, Mark, absolutely. There is a thought that these men may go straight to Guantanamo Bay. Oh. What, what would your reaction be if that happened? I would be very against that. I'd be very against that. It would continue the hatred. Part of, you know, they were executed in orange jumpsuits like used in Guantanamo. So I would be very against that. I think that would be a travesty. I think that would perpetuate this cycle of hatred. That I think we need to be above that. And I think we need to um, show them what justice really looks like and try to... Do you to think Guantanamo should be shut down, really? That's my opinion. Yes, of course. I just, yeah. So if you could speak to these men now, what would you say to them? I, I feel very sorry for them. I mean, had they known Jim, they would have loved Jim. And what do you think Jim would say to them if he could talk to them now? He would have wanted to know why. Why? Where are you coming from? I mean, these young men were brought up in Great Britain. Um, and, um, you know, why? And what radicalized them? He would want to understand, I'm sure, um, what would bring them to that, to such barbaric, twisted um, view of the world, you know? And if there is justice now for these two men anyway, would that in any way add up to some sort of closure for you in this? The real closure, obviously, would be if Jim were, were to come back. but. But sure, I mean, all you can hope for in this world is that some justice is served and that other people are protected from the kind of evil that was inflicted on our son and the others. Um, out, that would give us a lot of solace, Mark. Yeah, it would. One mother praying today that justice delayed will not be justice denied. Mark Austin, Sky News in New Hampshire.